Okay, in today's segment, we want to talk about our paint shop candy coat system. Uh, basically, uh, if you're not familiar with a candy color, it's a deep metallic color. This is a cousin to the paint shop system. The paint shop candy coat system is comprised of the primer, the base coat, which is basically a silver metallic coat that gives the color the depth, uh, one of three colors. Uh, the candy apple red, candy apple green, or candy orange. They're translucent paints that go over that base coat. And lastly, the clear coat to finish it off. Okay, we have our fender. We've already taken the steps to prime it, which is your first step after cleaning it. We've used our paint shop primer. And the next step is to use our candy base coat, which is a silver metallic base coat. And I'm going to show you how to do that right now. Okay, I've got some candy base coat in the gun, getting it ready to go. Now, um, you can see I'm using a strainer here. Any of the paints in the candy coat system, you are going to want to use a strainer as you put it into the gun. For that, you can use a dupe color st strainer kit. It comes with three strainer cones and three stir sticks. Okay, we got our base coat in the gun. We're getting ready to apply it to our prime surface here. We are using an HVLP gun. The optimal PSI for an HVLP gun is going to be around 20. If you're using a conventional gun, you're going to want to be around 30. Now, it's important to note that it does vary from gun to gun, so make sure you're testing it on an outside substrate before you're painting your project. And also, one of the most important things is make sure you're painting in a well-ventilated area and uh, make sure you're using a mask because, especially with this metallic base, there's a lot of metallic particles flying around, so you want to be protected. Now with this base coat, it is a metallic paint, so you're going to want to make sure you're a little bit farther away than normal. About 12 inches will do the job. You want to make sure that you're getting a nice even coat because if you leave any stripes, that translucent paint that we put on after the base is going to show those. Okay, now as you can see, we have the base coat down, and it is really a heavy metallic color. We've got our candy apple red in the gun ready to go. We've waited about 10 minutes for that to dry. We're going to hit it with this, and we're going to make sure we get some nice even coats so that we have a good finish at the end. Okay, now we're going to cover this with about two to three coats to get some good depth. It's basically up to your own preference. If you want to go more than that, you'll see as you're going along, because it is a translucent paint, you can go heavier or lighter depending on the uh, finish you want. And you also want to make sure you get even coats on this because it is a translucent paint and you'll see some striping. Okay, that should do it for our first coat. You want to make sure you stay with light coats. We're going to give it about three coats, but you want to stay light to avoid it getting patchy and uneven. So we're going to let that sit for about five to ten minutes, and we're going to come back with another coat and uh, go from there. Okay, we have our three coats of the candy coat down. It's really got some good depth, so we're going to stop right there with the uh, coats. The next step is the clear coat. I'm getting ready to strain it. We'll probably put a couple coats of clear on, and then from there it's just wet sanding and buffing. Okay, this fender came out exactly the way we wanted it to. The metallic base is really popping through the color, giving it some nice depth, and this candy apple red looks outstanding. With the Dupacolor Paint Shop Candy Coat System, yes, you can get these results in your garage.